In this problem, we have some kind of quadrilateral that has been plotted on the coordinate plane. And we're even given the vertices of the points here. I, I'm going to take a minute actually just to jot these in because I know we're going to use them. So j is 5, 2, k is negative 2, 6, and l is negative 6, negative 1, and m is 1, negative 5. Okay. Our job here is to figure out what kind of a quadrilateral this is. It sort of looks like a square, but we don't know for sure. Um, we could know if we knew that all the side lengths were the same and if we knew what the, um, the angles were in here. Um, so we're going to uh, do some calculations to try to figure out side lengths, to try to figure out what angle these lines might be uh, uh, intersecting each other at. And in this problem, they kind of walk you through. So they ask you to find the length of KL first. So KL, this side right here, how do we find the length of that side? Well, since this is plotted in the coordinate plane, we can just calculate the distance between these two points, K and L. And to do that, we'll use the distance formula, our old friend. And remember, the distance formula is the square root of the difference of the x-coordinate squared plus the difference of the y-coordinate squared. So let's look at the x-coordinates. We've got negative 2 and negative 6. That's four spaces apart, so this is 4 squared plus, and the y, 6 to negative 1, that's 7 apart, so 7 squared. So this is the square root of 16 plus 49, that is the square root of 65. Okay, and then it says um, length of a side adjacent to KL. So it could be LM, it could be JK, I think I'm going to do JK. The x-coordinates, negative 2 to 5, that's a change of 7, so we've got 7 squared, and the y coordinate 6 to 2, that's a change in 4. Oh, look at this. We have exactly the same thing. So this is also the square root of 65. So this side and this side are the same. The next thing they're asking us to do here is to find the slope of KL and the slope of a side that's adjacent. The slope is the rise over the run of a line. So if we look at KL, we could um, uh, take this point here and look at the change in the Y. So the change in the Y is 7, positive 7, and the change in the X is a positive 4. So the slope of KL is 7 fourths. So these were both squared to 65. I suppose I should fill it in here. And then let's do um, the side adjacent to KL, let's do this JK. So the slope here is, is going to be a negative number because it's going down. The change in the Y, 6 down to 2 would be negative 4. And the change in X, a negative 2 to positive 5, that's a positive 7. So negative 4 sevenths. And what you should notice here is that these are negative reciprocals of each other, which means that this is a 90 degree angle. This actually is enough already to tell you that this is a square. Uh, but you could go ahead and find the lengths of all four sides if you wanted to. You'd come out with a square root of 65 for each one. And you could uh, look at the, um, the angles between each of these uh, two sets of lines, and you'd find a 90 degree angle. So at this point, we can say that JKLM is a rectangle. We know it's a square, but a, a square is a type of rectangle. A square is also a type of rhombus and it is a square. So that's a little bit of work with trying to classify a quadrilateral that's been plotted in the coordinate plane.